And he said unto him, Jesus wise, he said, why callest thou me good? We're going to stop it right here. He said, there is none good but one. So let's get that straight right now. He said, that is God. God will enter into life. You say you want eternal life? If you go into an eternal life, he said, keep the commandments. Now watch this here. All right. So the young man said to him, which ones? Huh? Which ones do I need to keep? But now he already know he's keeping some things. He said, which one do you want me to keep? And he said, Jesus said, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Ooh, that's easy. I ain't doing that anyway. All right, what else? Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witnesses. Jesus told him, Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, I guess he said, I keep my money in my pocket because I do all these things. He said, all these things have I kept. Now look how nice that is. Somebody you don't know. Some of us been raised in good homes. Something you don't know. I kept them things. So that's all I got to do. I'm in. The young man said, Jesus said unto him, oh. now this is a catch to it. See, we serve a wise master. Said, if thou will be perfect, go and sell that thou hast. Uh oh, there's a problem here now. You telling me to sell my riches? You telling me to give up my goods? That's the only way I can get there? You say yes. And give to the poor. And now I'm going to be poor, he's saying. To the Give it to the poor. And thou shall have treasures in heaven. And come and follow me. Now that's a hard pill to swallow for him. He ain't got to stand in that. You mean to tell me I got to give up this? I got to give up this? All my goods? It was easy when you said, keep the commandments. That wasn't no problem. But now, I got to do this here. That young man went away south. No way I'm giving up my goods. And I'm giving it to the poor, and I'm not going to have nothing. But the Lord brought it to me. How bad you want it? If I ask you that right now, how many would raise a hand and say, I want eternal life? Huh? Everybody in here would have their hand up. How many of you want eternal life? How many in here want eternal life? How many willing to give up what the Lord wants you to give up? How bad you want it? You know, God is a good God. You know, I thought about if I could paraphrase it. And Jesus would say to me today. And I told Jesus I want eternal life. He said, no. Did you repent? Yes, sir. I did repent. Did you go down in Jesus' name? Yes, I did. I did that. Did you get the Holy Ghost? Yes, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. What lack is I yet? Now! But if you want to be perfect, gotta give us some more thanks. Gotta give us some more thanks. Now, I put it out there myself out there. I was a woman in Gold, I'm a boyfriend. 
Uh-huh. And when they told me I couldn't have no more boy sins, now this ain't going to work because I'm a real woman. This ain't going to work. I know this ain't going to work. <laughs> but they said, oh, no, you got to give it up. They said, I used to like to smoke cigarettes. I used to smoke almost two packs a day. And they said, uh-huh, ain't no smoking on this side. Because if you want to be perfect, you got to give some things up. You got to give us some things up. And it ain't all about material things. Sometimes we got to give up a bad attitude. Huh? Sometimes we want to do things our way. But you got to give it up. If you want to be perfect. If you want to be perfect, you got to give it up. But I love about this man. This young man. He didn't go fussing with Jesus. He didn't go say, well, why my money ain't no good? He went over his house. Because he knew it wasn't going to work. And today, a lot of times, we don't want to give up things. I'm telling you the truth, sometimes I have a problem with things, understanding things right now. And I've been saved over 30 some years. They said, sis, sometimes I want to give up on people. And I got encouragers to come along and say, now you know you can't do that. I said, I'm done. They said, now you can't do that. I said, but I'm done. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. They said, no. That ain't the way you're going to do it. You know, a lot of times we want to do things our way. Huh? And one song said, it's a high way to heaven. None can walk up there but the pure in heart. Huh? None can walk up there but the pure in heart. And if we can do it our way, it'll be a different thing. But the Bible says, every step of a righteous man, every step of a righteous woman is ordered by the law. And he delighted in his ways. That means you can't do it your way. It's only one way to heaven. It's only one way. And that's the way we got to go. The way the Lord would have us to go. And I praise the Lord because I was going through some things not too long ago. And it came to me. I said, wait a minute. I got to live so I can escape the things that are going to come on this earth. Because the Bible says, you know what we're seeing today? Listen to what the Bible says. It's just the beginning of sorrow. You hear me? What does that mean, preacher? It don't get right side. It's going to get worse. Who want to stay here? You can't even take it right now. Who want to stay in this here? But you know what I said? I know it get hard. And sometimes when the Lord is working on us, to get to that stage of perfection, we blame it on everybody else. I don't be there. I blame it on the pastor. I blame it on the elders. You too bad to show up, I blame it on you. I blame it on the ministers. It's them. No, it ain't, it's the law. You gotta be perfected. You gotta be perfected. We gotta get out of here. I said, we gotta get out of here. Jesus is coming. I don't know when he's coming, but we got to get out of here. No, let me say it like this. Let me say it. I'm getting out of here. Every man for himself and God for us all. <laughs> if you want to stay, that's up to you. But I thank God for showing me me. See, everybody got to see themselves. And I thank God for showing me me. I want to see me. Because I want that help to get out of here. And I praise the Lord. He said, how bad you want me? You say you want eternal life. You say, I want to go to heaven. How bad you want to go? Are you willing to make the sacrifice to do what it takes to get there? Or are you going to say like that, that man, young man said, uh-uh, not me. I see y'all there. I ain't going to do it. Many people turn it down. But guess what? 
Hell is hot. Hell is a hot place. That's why I'm here today, because I, I used to dream about how hot hell is. I told somebody I can't even take the heat on the stove. That's more than going to hell. And you, can you imagine? You're going to be burning forever and ever. I could see if we burn for maybe a few months and we all came out. Uh-uh, that ain't going to work like that. It's a long, long, long. Can you imagine burning? How? Hell, I want some water. You ain't getting nothing. You ain't getting nothing. You got to stay in there. Howling and howling. Hearing people scream and going to have a body. But look at this here. That ain't going to burn up. That ain't going to burn up. You screaming and howling, it ain't going to do no good. Lord, I'm sorry. I'll do it right this time. No, too late. Too late. But I praise the Lord. Because many a time when I think how the Lord deals with me, and I was telling somebody from out of town, I said, you know what? If it takes me to go back to somebody I'm going. Maybe I didn't even do it, but I'm still going. Because you know what? I want to be made perfect. Mm -hmm. I gotta get out of here. I gotta see Jesus. And I want to see him in peace. That's how I want to see him in peace. I want him to say, well done. My good and faithful servant. Well done. Oh, ain't that going to be a beautiful day? Well done, my beautiful. You see the people walking across the stage in that, that diploma? Just imagine. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, you walking up there and you wanted examples. You didn't want that examples. Somebody said, somehow I made it. Somehow I made it. Said, do it all. Do it all! God brought me through! Do it all! God brought me through. Huh? The devil was on every hand, but God brought me through. You know that's going to be a beautiful day. But how you got to think about this thing? How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? So every time you're going through something, don't blame it on nobody else. Look at yourself. You know, we used to sing a song. It's me. It's me. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Standing in the need of prayer. It's not my mother. It's not my father. But it's me! That's what you gotta look at. It's me! Stop blaming your neighbor! Stop blaming your mother. Stop blaming your father. Say it's me, O oh Lord. I'm standing in the need of prayer. Huh? We all need help. I ain't here to throw off from nobody. Because I need help right now. And I've been saved over 30 some years. I'm still working on my building. Huh? Still working on it. Still working on things. I remember one day years ago, I was at a bus stop and I'm saved. And this lady was begging people for money to get on the bus. <laughs> and so. I said, when she come to me, I took my money out and rolled it up. I said, when she come to me, I'm going to use it in my hand. She come over this way. And that's what I did when she came over this way. That woman snatched it out of my hand. Then people said, you see what she did? And I was supposed to beat her down. But the Lord said, you can't do it. You can't do it. Huh? I can't take that. I got to let her go on and do what she got to do because I can't do it. And don't think that anyone would fight me. Lord, 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 Lord. I was on my way to work. It's like, I need to get off this bus and go right back and find her. And let her know she don't take my money out of my hand. But you know what? I thank God for her. The Bible says he that humble himself. He that humble himself shall be exalted. And I thank the Lord for the scripture said, if it had not been. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't easy. Holiness is tight, but it's right. It may seem hard. But you can make it. Amen. You can make it. You can make it. If you have a mind to do that which is right, it ain't going to be easy. Every time you get up and preach, that devil fight you. Don't think that devil ain't going to come after me. He's coming after me. But that's all right. Because guess what? The Bible said, don't fear him that's able to kill the body. But he'll fear him that's able to kill the body. And the soul. You know? 
We have a job to do. And preaching this is not an easy job. Because we have to do what the Lord requires us to do. And this, like I say, it starts with us first. It starts with us first. But the Lord wants me to encourage you today. He's talking to me too. How bad do we want it? Think about that. Every time the enemy come up against you, how bad do you want eternal life? How bad do you want it? Do you want it to go through? You want it just that bad that you'll go through whatever it takes to, that you can get there? Huh? Do you know you ain't going on the flower bed of heat? It's a price. It's a price. But I want you to know that you can make it. You can make it. Don't let the enemy tell you you can't make it. And every time he fights you, plead the blood of Jesus against Jesus. that spirit. Jesus. I said plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood against the devil. You ain't going to make me do that. You ain't going to make me rebel. I might have an attitude, but I'm going back and getting straight. Time is winding up. Time is winding up. Do you see what time it is? I preach that message is still Jesus. going on today. Jesus. Excuse me. Do you know what time? Jesus is coming. And every time you can think about that, it makes us strive, make you want to strive hard and hard. They said, I'm going. I'm going through. I don't care what the world may say. I made up in my mind that I'm going through. Have a made up mind today, saints. And if you ain't saved and you want eternal life, there's a way of escape. There's a way of escape. You can come out. You can come out. And you can go through. Don't let the enemy tell you that you can't make the journey. Don't let the enemy tell you that you can't do without it. I don't been there too. But you can. Because the Lord will give you the grace to go through. Today, saints, be a good encourage. Remember, the Lord is counting on you. He's counting on us. Just like he did Job. He's counting on us. He said, those are my faithful servants. They're my children. They will go through. God bless you.